हाय गाइस वेलकम टू आर चैनल नूरा मेडिक्स हियर वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ न्यूरो एनेटमी वन बाय वन एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट द वेरी वेरी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड एक्सट्रीमली फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ न्यूरो एनेटमी लाइक व्हाट इज द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम व्हाट इज द पेरिफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम व्हाट इज द वाइट मैटर what is the gray matter and so on and so forth so don't forget to like and subscribe this channel right as we know that nervous system is divided into two basic components central nervous system and peripheral nervous system so what is the basic function of cns the very basic function of cms is to take the information from the environment and from the body through the sensory system okay let me make a very simple diagram to explain in detail about the nervous system as we know that nervous system is having two basic components central nervous system and peripheral nervous system okay first talk about the central nervous system central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord now comes to the peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system is further divided into two parts sensory peripheral nervous system and motor peripheral nervous system okay first discuss about the sensory peripheral nervous system sensory peripheral nervous system is further divided into two types of sensations number 1 special sensations and number 2 general sensations likewise motor peripheral nervous system is also further divided into two types of motor responses number 1 is voluntary or somatic motor response and number 2 is involuntary or autonomic motor response and we will discuss about these two sensory and motor peripheral nervous system in detail later on in this video right as i already discussed the basic function of the central nervous system that it should receive the sensory information now i'll discuss it in more detail by making a simple diagram as we know that the central nervous system should take the sensory information about the cells and environment this is called sensory input and this sensory input which is the information to the cns through the sensory system and sensory nerves that are the part of the peripheral nervous system once the cns receives this information from the peripheral nervous system the cns compares and contrast this sensory information to the previous one that is already stored in the central nervous system and then in cns generate a motor response this part of the nervous system that are taking information from the peripheries to the cns and from the cns to the peripheries is called the peripheral nervous system so what is the duty of the pns the duty of the pns is to take the motor decisions from the center to the periphery and the sensory information from the periphery to the center now i'll discuss in detail about each and every component of the peripheral nervous system and see what is there peripheral nervous system is further divided into two components number 1 is sensory peripheral nervous system and number 2 is motor peripheral nervous system first talk about the sensory peripheral nervous system sensory peripheral nervous system is further divided into two parts special sensations and general sensations so now there is a question that what is the basic difference between special senses and general senses special senses are those sensations that are coming from specific parts of the body and general sensations are those that are coming from multiple parts of the body let me make it clear by a simple example for example touch you can only feel from multiple parts of the body so it's a general sense but you can see only through your eyes can you see with your ears you can't so there is only a one specific part of your body that is concerned with vision so that should be considered a special sense then comes olfaction similarly taste hearing equilibrium these all are considered as special sensations because they are coming from specific parts of the body next 
discuss about the general sensations general sensations are those sensations that are coming from multiple par- parts of the body and these are further divided into two parts somatic sensations and visual sensations somatic sensations are those sensations that are coming from the skin and locomotor system and visual sensations are those sensations that are coming from the deeper part of the body like visceras dull pain from the tension of viscera is the example of visceral Now we talk about general sensations, which are further divided into somatic and visual sensations. So first, talk about visual sensations. What are visual sensations? The visual sensations are those sensations that are coming from the deeper part of the body or visceral to the central nervous system. So we know about the classical example of visual sensations. Okay, let me tell you about it in detail. The classical example of visual sensation is abdominal cramp. when you feel tired that is coming from the id to the central nervous system so visceral sensations are usually dull pain that is coming from the viscera and the pain and the sensation from the skin is usually sharp so that main difference between the visceral sensation and somatic sensation is that the pain from the viscera is usually dull pain and pain from the somatic system is usually sharp okay now comes to the somatic sensations Somatic sensations are those sensations that are coming from the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and locomotor system. And the types of these sensations are pain, temperature, touch, vibration, and proprioception. So, what is meant by locomotor system? The locomotor system includes the joints. So, the sensations from the joints, joint capsule, ligaments, tendons, are also considered as somatic sensations. That's why locomotor system is also included in somatic. Thank you.